because if you aren't replacing your population, if you're not having 2.1 births per capita, two to replace the parents plus the occasional third child to keep it going. What if I hold a woman die. down and forcibly impregnate her? Is that good? Um, generally, no. Why not? Wait, generally? Wait, is there ever a situation where that's good? Um, and I'm not an expert on Sharia. In no, answer that situation. question. I want an answer to that question. Is there no, ever I'm, a situation? Okay. In times of war, you are allowed to take concubines. And, um, and but them. you're supposed to treat them, them. You're supposed to treat them well. Oh, while well, you're fucking them, right. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. And how about yourself? Doing pretty good. Got some stuff done. Went and worked out. Good stuff. A uh, little bit late to the stream, but better than I sometimes do. So I'm not going to complain. But um, okay. let's cut right to it. So we basically got talking on, I want to say Twitter, after another one of my <laughs> genius viral posts uh, went viral. And uh, I basically put a comment underneath of that saying, uh, because I'm trying to stay off of Twitter. So what I did was I put a comment underneath of that saying, if you want to debate me, here's how to reach out to me. We can do it on my live stream because I like making content out of it. So here we are. And you wanted to talk about autogynophilia. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Okay. And then uh, before, is there... Oh, sorry to interrupt. No, please continue. Go ahead. So you before we get in this discussion, you know, so I can have some background knowledge about, you know, what position or what perspective you're you're speaking from, how would you, you know, describe yourself? Politically, I know, you know, you're the host of the show, but of course, the, no, I, it's that's fair. Asking me the questions. No, that's fair. I should have started off with that. So I consider myself a progressive. You can call me a leftist. You can call me a liberal. I don't really care. But progressive would be the most proper term, I think. It's okay. just the most encompassing. I like my policy is whatever makes, you know, more people's lives better and fewer people's lives worse. So when I look okay. at transgender issues, I used to be transphobic, right? I used to not like trans people because I would go on porn websites and I would look at the women's section and there would inevitably be trans women there. And I'd be like, I don't like that. And then that's where my transphobia kind of came from. Uh, and so later on, I realized, wow, that's really fucking stupid. And I decided it doesn't matter what my porn preferences are. Uh, you know, people can identify the way that I had. A, I basically had a better understanding of gender and sex and how transgender people uh, operate day to day, which is just like the rest of us. They're just normal. They just want to live their lives. It just happens that their gender identity does not align with the sex that they were assigned at birth or the uh, genitalia they were uh, born with, you know, because we have a we have gender without getting too far into the weeds. We have gender and then we have sex and gender is socially prescribed and sex is medically prescribed. So there's a difference between like transgender versus transsexual. Uh, there's a difference between if you say you're a man versus male, you know, things like that. So I just believe that however people want to identify, you know, as in terms of gender, like I don't really care that much. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's not my life and it's not my body. Okay. I see where you're, I, I can, I can, I, I used to be a liberal myself. I, okay. my birth name is Oliver. I converted to Islam. My new name is Ali. Okay. And my fundamental problem with transsexuality uh, is that it's abnormal. When you see a woman or a man dressed up as a woman walking down the street, or a woman dressed up as a man walking down the street, you see mental illness. You see... What about it as mental illness? It's a mental illness because it's not normal. What's normal? Because it, normal is what God has prescribed for Which the human is what? race. Which is that there are two genders, male and female. Why should I care what God has to say on the subject? Because history shows that societies that respect God are successful. If you look at Saudi Arabia, they're the richest country. In Saudi Arabia, country. I'm I'm pretty sure that like they'll lynch you for being gay in the street. I don't consider that a very good country to live in. I they're like having sexual they're, freedom. They're one of the richest countries in the world. I don't care. The lowest do, you th do, you, do you think that like their average citizen sees that wealth? Yes, I've spoken to many Saudis at my master's. I'm sure you have, but like, like if you were to pull up the statistics right now, how many Saudis do you think have like above $100,000 income? You think it's Probably most of them? Many. Exactly, not very many. So like I said, most of the people there don't even see that wealth. So this is a null argument already. Well, the, the thing is, you know, I'm a Maoist myself. Okay. You know, I believe in Islam, but also politically I see that, you know, you're right. There is a problem of the, of the hoarding of wealth which um, 
you know, if you look at Saudi Arabia, it's a massive advancement over what we have in the West. It's not perfect. Okay, You're but right. but it's again, to wealth. get to to stay on point though, your argument was look at Saudi Arabia, they don't like the transes and they're doing great economically because look at their GDP. Where to which I right. responded, the average person doesn't see that. So do you value people like, you know, their version of whatever Elon Musk is or Jeff Bezos? Do you value them having that much money over the the people they're having sexual and uh, freedom of presentation. Well, I'm sorry. Can you please restate that? So it, what my what I said was, you said that look at Saudi Arabia and how well they're doing financially, correct? Economically. Yes, yes. they're doing very good yes. economically. And they're well, also doing very good culturally. Sure, but let's them. stay on economic because that was your argument. So okay. my counter yeah. argument to that was most people there don't see that. It's just a select few. And then okay, you have true. to, so now you have to explain why you value like just money in general being there and anybody I, having okay, it or like a, now. yeah, exactly. Now. Well, I mean, look at the US, we live in a highly liberal society okay. where, you know, it, in some states you can cut your kids the penis off at 16. That's not true. We also have a lot of, that's not true, by the way, you, you just Whatever said a lie. Age, we're that very, was a lie that you just you said, you just lied. Society, whatever, 18 or 21. Just Whatever so it's they, on the record that you – do you have any evidence of like uh, parents being allowed to chop, chop their kids' penises off at 16? Can you show me any cases? Yes. Um, there okay. was a documentary about it, uh, you know, trying to glor uh, okay, glorify it. Okay, who was it? it? You know, I'd have to do – regardless – Trying to glorify it? Which – what? okay, what's the point then? It was Get called like point. trans out of the, – the bottom line is that uh, – Hello? I'm there. Oh, okay. I heard like another voice in the background. Might be um, my might be my fiance. Oh, okay. Well, the bottom line is is that there's a high level of wealth equality here in the US, and we're also a much more liberal society than Saudi Arabia. There's a higher what? Sorry. Higher wealth inequality? There's higher or equal wealth inequality here in the US. That's correlation and without causation. Agree. First of we all, and second agree. of all, I don't even know if that's that's true, but that's correlation without causation. Well, we can both agree that both of the U.S. and Saudi Arabia – keep in mind, Saudi Arabia is not even the only country with Sharia. There's countries like Afghanistan, which are building um, economic relations with the People's Socialist Republic of China that are doing very well. Malaysia is doing very well. You said China is doing well? Have you seen the living conditions for like the average China Chinese person? Oh, yes. I had a Chinese tutor. She lived in a very nice apartment. You know, it's not great. Okay, that's your Chinese but tutor. But like – it, well, when you say not great, do you mean – like my point is the average Chinese person is not living in like extravagant wealth. At best, they're like below average compared to an American. Right. That's but my understanding. I, I would have to research point. more of that. But again, like I don't see what that has to do with people's sexual freedom. I don't understand like the, the comparison here or like their freedom of expression. Well, the, the bottom line is that if you're a man who wants to take hormones and pump – silicone into your chest and may you or like may not do? Penis turn inside. You like well, yes, women that's do? wrong too that's wrong what? too i will okay. agree that I, I disagree. a woman altering herself altering her body in okay but just form. to be clear then you're 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 against both men and women doing that yes yes okay because so then that's not an argument Allah, against so that's Allah. a different argument then that's not an argument against trans people that's just an argument against silicone injections which is a completely off topic yes. argument so well i'm i'm against all forms of body modification like glasses i wear glasses is, is should i get form. rid of them well that's not a modification of the inside of your body the inside of my body okay how about a knee replacement a knee replacement well yeah. That's met, I guess I should clarify. I'm against any kind of – as a Muslim, we are supposed to be against any kind of unnecessary, non um, – A knee replacement is not necessary. You can live without a knee replacement. But it, it physically – your knee is something that you physically need get a wheelchair. to get around. Get a wheelchair. No body modifications. That sounds like pussy shit to me. Why would you say that it's fine for people to get knee replacements? You just told me that you are fundamentally against people t doing things inside of their body that are not medically necessary. I don't consider a well, knee sure. replacement well, medically necessary well, the in the, for the purposes Sharia of this conversation. Huh? Who the, disagrees the with me? Scholars of, the scholars of Sharia who, after the revolution, would run the United States would disagree with you. Okay, I don't care what they say. You don't, you don't have to care what they say. I'm telling you my perspective. That we should have okay, I'm not asking about the scholar's Iran perspective. Budget. I'm asking about yours. So yes, your perspective, my perspective is that we should have a society um, ran by a communist party of Islamic scholars. 
Why? Why? Yeah. I mean, I'm because fine with like, at, you know, communism as a concept, but why specifically like Muslim communists? Because Islam is the correct religion. If you look at Christianity, it's allowed itself to be hijacked by the Jews and by Zionism. What do you mean um, the correct you know, religion? It is the religion that is factually correct, but factually correct. Let's, keep it, let's keep it from an atheistic perspective. Let's okay. just say that doesn't I'd matter. To if pick your brain about that, but it's off topic. So, all right, factually um, correct. So, athe so, but you're going to stick with the atheist perspective for my sake, yes? Okay, let's keep for yeah, okay. yeah. So we don't okay. devolve Thank into you. an argument about fate. Sure. Um, the if you look at Christian society, the United States is a slave of Israel. Europe is a slave of Israel. Uh, we, I mean, I wouldn't say slave, but we'd certainly enable them, yes. So Christianity itself is so weak, it's allowed itself to get supplanted by, by Jews and Judaism. I see. How does, how does this work? Well, if you just look at his, I mean, look at how much uh, U.S. dollars are given to aid in Israel. Look at how many Christians have been brainwashed into thinking that by believing in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, they have to support the terroristic genocidal state of israel well they might believe that but that's not necessarily true i have christian friends who don't believe that and they're still right. christian yes there are christians who don't believe that so then that's the not fundamental to being that christian christianity as an ideology is not strong enough to resist jewish um manipulation and islam is islam cannot is much, it's much harder to manipulate uh islam what are the jews doing that like, you don't like what are the jews doing well, they have the state of Israel, which is killing uh, Muslims, which is horrible. They are... Uh, I agree, but that's not a Christian thing. That's an Israel thing. Them. I'm sorry, say that again? That's an Israel thing. Israel's a nation state. They're not a, yes. a religious institution. They're a country. But, like, I... Okay, so I'm ethnically part Jewish. I've been to synagogues. They integrate the state of Israel into their religious beliefs. In their prayer, before the service ends, they say, we commemorate everyone who died in the Shoah. Hebrew for Holocaust, and okay. died in the support of the state of Israel. When you go to the Jewish version of Sunday school, you pitch in a dollar that they give to the state of Israel. They pass around a little blue box. That's the, that's the lie that they push, that um, Judaism has nothing to do with Zionism. There are some Jews, some Hasidic Jews, that, um, that reject Zionism, but the vast majority of Jews, over 90%, support the state of Israel. I don't even think it's true that the vast majority of Jews support the state of Israel. But also, this was supposed to be an indictment on Christianity. Are you saying that, like, th this Jewish cabal that you speak of is, like, enticing and luring the, the feeble-minded Christian into a, a, a lulled state of security so that, like, they can inject their... Like, what, what are you getting at here? What are the Jews no, doing that exactly you don't like? that's exactly what I'm like? getting at. You pretty much hit the nail on the head. So what right are specific... So you said feminism. What about feminism? Are the, So the Jews are pushing feminism onto Christians, right? This is your words. They push abortion. They push planned they push abortion. So what's, so what's wrong with all this stuff? What is it? Well, if you look I at like abortion, abortion, people like to talk about the Holocaust. You know, six million Jews died in the Holocaust. But they don't okay. talk about our Holocaust, which is called Planned Parenthood. Millions well, how is that a of Holocaust? babies have been killed in the womb. You know, the most dangerous place for a black... I'm not even black, by the way. The I don't care. The most dangerous place in America for a black baby is his mother's womb. That's where he's mo his life is most likely to end. Why should I care? He's not a baby yet. He's a fetus. I mean... Why should I don't I, even consider why, his why, life why to be up to a begun. Around, why shouldn't I just go around killing elderly people in nursing homes? Because that's murder, and I don't like that. That's taking away people's well, freedoms. I don't consider a fetus a person. I've had this argument many times. I didn't think we'd go here, but like, you'd have to convince me that a fetus is a person before I give it any credence or well, any uh, any. You know, like, I used to think the way you consideration thought. for rights. You're right. Uh, I mean, you're not right, but I'm listening to you. You yeah. know, I used to think the way you thought. I used to be a liberal. I used to be okay with Planned Parenthood. And I, you, I used to be conservative, but, but go on. But, um... Funny when, little, uh, you know... My, my own religion, Islam, simply says that life begins at conception. It's Unlike Christians, I can understand why you can argue, because no one in the Bible doesn't say life begins at conception. But there are actually hadiths about the... In hadiths, there are narrations about the life of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
um, hadith specifically about this subject, that life does begin at conception. Okay. And for me, as an Islamic fundamentalist, that should be the standard. I, okay, I don't care. So, so tell me a little bit, what, what, what made you move from thinking, um, from, from thinking that um, abortion was wrong to moving to thinking abortion was not wrong? Well, in all honesty, I had to ha help my ex get one. So, you know, that was kind of the catalyst, uh, although she already was like uh, opposed to me on the abortion thing because I was fervently uh, pro-life back then. And so, okay. you know, I accidentally got her pregnant because we didn't use very good protection. And then I helped pay for her abortion. So that was kind of the point where I went through a very tumultuous mental struggle after that over the course of like more than a year. Uh, and finally I came out on the other side and I told myself, you know, and, and I know that, that, that this sounds like I'm justifying it to myself and perhaps that's true, but I don't really care. Like it, to me, it's a matter of personal freedom over your own body. And also the fact that a fetus does not deserve the same rights as the rest of us or more rights really is what okay. you're saying, because I cannot attach myself to a woman's uterus and then for nine months and feed off of her. I'm not allowed to do that. A fetus is, though, and you want to protect their right to do that. Why? Because a, if you allow abortion, if you allow feminism, if you allow these deviant, deviant ideas into a society, you end up with a lower birth rate. Okay, you know, Israel has a birth why do rate. I, wait, 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 wait. Why do I care? Why do I care? You care because if you become a country like South Korea, which has a birth rate of something ridiculously low, like 0 0.7 births per woman, women, you will go extinct after enough generations. There will be no more. I'm uh, alive. What do you mean you will go extinct? Do you mean like the human you, race? Your nation, your tribe, whatever uh, group, ethnic group you descend from, if it does not have... I don't care about the ethnic group I descend from. I'm part German and part Irish, and I'm all American, and I live in America, and I live for my fiance, and I'm going to have kids in some, at some point in the future, and that's what I live for. I don't live for my nation. If you, if you don't have a birth rate of 2.1 births per capita, what you live in will go extinct after uh, 100 years. Why? Just mathematically. Because if you aren't replacing your population, if you're not having 2.1 births per capita, two to replace the parents, plus the occasional third child to keep it going. What if I hold know, a woman die. down and forcibly impregnate her? Is that good? Um, generally, no. Why not? Wait, generally? Wait, is there ever a situation where that's good? Um, and I'm not an expert on Sharia. In no, answer that question. I want an answer to that question. Is there no, ever I'm, a situation? Okay. In times of war, you are allowed to take concubines. And, um, and but them. you're supposed to treat them, them. You're supposed to treat them well. Oh, yeah, while you're f***ing them, right? But you're still f***ing them. You, th 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 it's a very complicated issue. But generally, no, it's not. You're in times them. of war, when you impregnate war, you a woman against her will, that is. It might. Yes, it is. Okay. It's so your so war. your statement is your stance is that is okay. Yes, in times of war. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the time, no. But in the but point zero, but there are situations where it's okay. Okay, so that's disgusting, and you're a fucking pervert. But go on. Well, no, please go uh, on. I'd like, I'd love to hear more about what you think about the world and your well, opinions on things. Well, because if you go into a war and you kill all the men, someone's gonna have to take care of the women. Okay. Someone has to do something with them. My so them, of course, you enslave is what you them. Mean. You enslave them. You, you're right. You well, they them. might fall in love with you. It, it might not necessarily be. What? I asked you, is it okay to hold a woman down and forcibly impregnate her? To which you replied 99.99% .99 of the time, no, but 0.01% of the time, yes, that's fine. And that's disgusting. I think that you are opening the door. I, honestly, I think you're the degenerate here. I think that you're the one destroying Western society because you're the one trying to open the door for people to have unconsensual relationships with women, possibly even underage women, because, you know, it's just the population, right? We have to do it for the glory of our, you know, our empire. I know I don't want to fuck the 14 year old and impregnate her, but hey, you know, whatever I need to do to keep the American bloodline pure, right? Like, this is disgusting. Well, this is freak this shit. This would never apply. This would never apply. What do you mean this would never apply? You... Like the U.S. Because the Sharia says for a concubinage to be allowed, they have to be polytheists. And the U.S. is a Christian country. Christians are classified as people of the book, not as polytheists. So what? We created like a, a subclass of women who are allowed to be Is that it? No, because after the war is over, you free the slaves. You're not making any sense.
After so so you, during war you can them, but after the war you have to free them. Yes. That's disgusting. I still think that's disgusting. You can just say you're at war still. First of all, and second of all, I don't think it's it's okay in any situation ever. Well, you know, we just Why have a difference I, of opinion on this matter. Sure, but I think that my opinion is normal and yours is disgusting and you're a pervert and a freak. So why should I listen to anything else you have to say on anything? Well, because people who thought the way I thought built the world that you're living in right now. I don't care. I mean, They're the dead. They're dead. Right They're dead. And also, the you're wrong. You house. just, no, you tell yourself that to justify to yourself that you are fine with <laughs> That's what you're doing. I mean, Maybe I some of them were <laughs> but they didn't, <laughs> was not an essential part of them building the world that we live in. That was not an essential element of that. What, do you live in the Northern United States? If you don't mind me asking, or the Southern I United States? I live in Ohio. States. Okay, so you don't live in, I live in the southern United States. You know, there's a lot of, I mean, I don't even know how we got sidetracked on the conversation. Of I don't either. Going back to abortion. Going, going back to the conversation. But now that we've established abortion. that there are situations where is okay in your mind, go ahead and let's get back to, uh, well, we were originally talking about trans people, and I know that you think they're gross and, and yucky and whatever. I think that it's gross and yucky to allow for in any situation, but please continue about why autogynophiles are the real perverts here. I'd love to hear. files are the real perverts okay. because they live in a do manner. Want, do, do they that, think that? Do they think that um, uh, you, you're allowed to rape people during war? Like that's okay. Very few because they subscribe. Very few, to right? Eight. So, so you're. So the answer is no. They generally don't. Correct. They generally don't. Okay. So then, why? Don't. Why is an uh, convince me that an autogynophile is less perverted than you? An autogynophile is less perverted than me for, uh, or I mean, the other way around. I'm less perverted than an autogynophile for two reasons, because. A, Sorry, I will that's have what children. I meant. An autogynophile uh, is on has sterilized himself. He will not contribute to the world. He also won't help people. No, I don't, because I'm not in a state of no, no, war. no. I said the autogynophile won't. I'd rather somebody castrate themselves than rape somebody. Would you? But I mean, I would rather. Um, honestly, I would rather. I mean, it's a very hard situation because both are horrible oh it's you know but, it's difficult to, to decide whether it's okay to rape the, the person right i you know i i hear what you're saying that's really gross you know even out of something as an evil in normal situations as you know a child can be conceived and a new soul brought into this world is always an amazing thing but a man who castrates himself no it's not no it's not you know what it's you know what it's not an amazing people. thing let me let me paint a picture for you how about when a 13 year old child gets raped by her uncle all right and then she is forced to carry that birth to, te to term for nine months, throwing up, bleeding, uh, having morning sickness, pains, having to go to school and do homework on top of all that, giving up sports, not you being able to hang out with her friends because she has to go to a fucking gyno appointment. It's awful. And then what do you get at the end of that? You got to fucking... She if, if she lives, by the way, if she lives and doesn't sustain long-term or serious injury, you know, assuming that that is all true... What do you get at the end of that? You get a baby that she cannot take care of, did not ask for, and is likely going to not have a very good life. So, so well, sure what's, what, no, 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 what's, be, just tell me, ex, convince me that that's beautiful. It's beautiful because a new soul, a baby boy or a baby girl. Has right. So you think that world. is beautiful. You think that is beautiful. Yes. No, 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 no. No, no of course not. Of course not. Of a course. Bad it's just okay a in some circumstances. And if you're right, the, the product of that is beautiful. Yes. That's what you think about. Right? Yes, a human life being created in any circumstance is the most beautiful thing on this planet. Um, Are you trolling? No, I'm not trolling. I mean, a human life. Okay. Think about it. If your parents didn't have sex, they didn't conceive you, you wouldn't be able to enjoy and experience all the things you've experienced in your life. I wouldn't life. know the difference because I wouldn't exist. There's like a million yeah. half babies in my balls right now that will not get to experience life. That's why we should have as many kids as possible to bring as many of these half babies into existence as possible. Like me, I plan on having 15 kids. I'm going to get married in the next year I am year scared or so. for all of them, genuinely. I am terrified for all of them, and I think that you should have your hard drive checked. But go on. Uh, why should I get my hard drive checked? Because you told me that is okay, dude. Why the f*** do you think you should have your hard drive checked, you dumbass? I never look at, uh, you know, that's considered zina of the eyes. And, you know, we're always being watched by two angels. The angel on the right uh, side counts uh -huh. all of your good deeds. Does the angel, the angel think that right is side. okay? The angel is a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the angel believes in Sharia. So mm. the angel understands that in times of war, polytheists might get taken as captives, and, uh, and, and they're fine they, with that. It, it might happen, but 
It might. It you might. Know, the right, Prophet right. Muhammad وسلم, treated his slaves very nicely, and he's the role model oh, for all of humanity. Well, I'm he glad that I'm glad that he treated them nicely. Slaves. It's you know, it's 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 rough once... uh, when when you get treated poorly as a subhuman thing, right? That that is subjugated at somebody else's leisure. You know, that's well, rough. Uh, in Islam, slaves are not considered subhuman. Slaves have rights. I don't. You're not allowed. Oh, to... they have some rights. That's good. Yes, because there's always. I mean, slavery exists here in the U.S. too. Um, I know that. It's just deregulated. You know, when you work at McDonald's, you're a wage slave. <laughs> you know. You know that's exactly like being. You're right, buddy. No, I'm Anything not. Else? I never made. I never made such a comparison. But going back to the to the central point that we're uh, discussing here, of course, on whether or not uh, you know transsexuality. You know, they've done the studies that it is a sexual thing. They've done the studies, the phallometric studies, where they play audio files about, um, you know, about a woman getting dressed. Some of the transgender women, uh, there's two groups, the ones that transitioned younger in life. Almost none of them um, experience any stimulation. The ones that transitioned older in life, like something like 70% of them got stimulation. So just the science is right there. There is, there, there is a sexual component to this. And um, that's highly disturbing. I see. Disturbing. Um, because if you like, look at where the West is heading. I mean, like my cousin, he is. Uh, he decided to choose to be live his life as uh, gay. And he came with his boyfriend to come visit my grandma, and his his boyfriend didn't even greet my grandmother. That's the level of rudeness and self-centeredness we're at at a society at this point. Um, you know, if you... you know what he should have uh, her. That's what I think he should have yeah, Well, because why? that's clearly something that you hold dear to your heart is that, uh, you know, people should be allowed to rape people in certain circumstances. Well, no, but that would not... So my I think that would have made him less of a pervert in your mind, probably, if I had to guess. Well, if he became a soldier... Instead of being gay, you know, against like... Polytheist. If he became a soldier and fought in a war against polytheists and, and captured then, some and, yeah, go on, go on. slaves, mm -hmm. and then that would be and captured slaves to do what? Captured slaves to do what? Far less bad than doing what? If, he, if they were polytheists, he's able to just marry them at his will. Um, right against theirs. Possibly, they, I mean, it depends on are if they they're, people if they're or attracted not? to him or are not. Are they people that or would, not? I would consider that man to be far more moral than a man who sits around. Eating, shitting, and having anal sex all day. Why? I mean, it's an abomination for a man to stick his male organ up the defecation or I mean, that's why HIV exists. HIV is a is a is a gift from God to punish uh, degenerates, in my view, because HIV. If you go around as a gay man, just getting bummed in the in the butt by a whole bunch of men, eventually will contract HIV. And up until very recently, like 20 years ago, so really not that recently, but up until 20 years ago, that was a death sentence. That was God punishing you for your, um, I think for your sinfulness. I think you're the world's punishment, honestly. I think that people like you are a blight, and I'd rather have super AIDS than like ever have another conversation with you, But people like you, me built uh, Malaysia. People, what, built what's Saudi a Arabia. person like you? What's they a person like Egypt. you? People it, who it, 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 go ahead, explain yourself. Sell, sell, People, sell yourself to me. I, uh, I'm a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I follow his messenger, uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And mm. I do my best to live, model my life after the way Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lived. And the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us to live in the Quran. Okay. And this is what, this is what has, this is what brought you algebra. This is what brought you... Did you um, invent it? Oil, no, but Muslims okay, did. Got People it. who thought the way I think. Did they? Did, is is the uh, is algebra in the Quran? No, but Islamic okay, scholars. So they, they didn't. Con so they, they clearly didn't consider that very important to their religious. Uh, but you know. quasars are in the Quran, in Surah eighty-eight. Um, okay. It says, "Beware of the knocking star." And quasars. Well, that you know that is a uh, thing that I use in my daily life is quasars. It's a good point. Well, it just it's just an evidence of the Quran's divine right. Of course. Divine or right. I mean the oil. The oil that was used to make the very glasses that you use to get around in life was most likely extracted from a uh, a Middle Eastern country oh, where cool. the oil. So, so where can I where, where can I where can I find that part in the Quran? Where that when they did that? When they did what? 
when they like extracted oil and sent it all over the world and uh, caused an industrial uh, revolution. That is not mentioned in the Quran. Right, because they, again, they don't consider it that important to their religious Right, beliefs. because it's not. It's, so the then why are you bringing it up? Thought, the point is that someone who thought the way I thought brought you the things that you use to function in a society. They did not think the way you think. They had they ascribed to the same religious affiliations that you. Do. This is what all Muslims believe. This is orthodoxy. There's no such thing as a moderate Muslim. You think there you represent Muslims. all Muslims right now? I mean, I'm just telling you what I've been taught by my imam, uh, by the sheikh at the local masjid I go to, from uh, reading Islamic sources. This is the standard view. The standard view. Okay. This is the standard view, and any Muslim who tells you otherwise, so-called Muslim who tells you, actually, no, women don't have to wear the hijab. Actually, it's okay to be gay. They are not Muslim. They are apostates. And if they don't amend their, their ways of thinking, they're de only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows, but it's very likely their destination would be hellfire. Okay. Um... So you'll go to hell for being gay or being an autogonophile or whatever, but uh, concubines... Well, not for being gay. You don't go to hell for being gay. Oh, okay. You go to hell for acting on sodomy. Right, so, for acting. So, right. So as long as you remain closeted, you're fine. Yes, because... Right. You know, if someone's being tested by Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's a sign that Allah loves them. So if someone is gay, they're feeling gay desires, that's a sign that Allah, Allah as a wajal, is testing them. Because they're tempting them to sin, to commit one of... The, the Quran calls it the most vile sin known to man. Um, As opposed to which is fine. Well, is is not fine under most circumstances. Under right, but, but, certain but, situations. Okay, so how many circumstances war. is it okay to fuck another man for me? It is never okay. Right, so then you are never. saying that is more fine than being gay, yes? Than gay sex? Yes. Yes. I think we're done, buddy. Okay, have a nice day. You as well. Later. Sorry, just banning and blocking that guy, because holy shit. Well, they didn't last quite as long as I thought it would, but we learned a lot, I think. So Dubsy, or whoever ends up editing this, I need you to put this in post uh, after the debate. I got an email from our friend uh, Oliver, the guy who was on for, uh, you know, the, the one who likes right? The one who's okay with um, and he, uh, sent me an email because I told them in YouTube chat, I said, you're abhorrent and the sooner you die, the better. Right. And I stand by that. And he sent me an email. So let's read it. Hello, Mr. Gunther. I am sorry that you found my perspective on concubinage as repulsive and degenerate. I found our discussion very interesting and mind opening, although I will have to agree to disagree with you on all the matters discussed. One thing that I was not able to get into during our discussion is that Sharia does, pen does penalize rape when not in cases of war. Oh, well, as long as not in case of war. Uh, if the man is married, a, he will be stoned to death. And if he is unmarried, he will be given lashes and deported. Cool. So uh, it's a little bit of, uh, you know, government sanctioned violence on there like that. If he used a lethal weapon, he could even be crucified. I am not an expert on Sharia and I apologize for any confusion. Well, that cleared that right up. I very much hope you can invite me on your show again. Not happening. Uh, I very much enjoyed our conversation and further debates could help propagate my view if mine is the correct one or help propagate your view if yours is the correct one. May Allah guide and bless your faith. You are a disgrace to Allah, my friend. Allah will strike you down. He will smite you until there is nothing left but ash of your body, dude. I, I hope you understand. I, I have, uh, I, I think I have a couple Muslim friends. And let me tell you something. They would never, ever, ever stand by you. They, they would cast you out. I think most Muslims would actually. I think Muslims would find you repulsive, my friend. And if they don't, if you're in circles with Muslims who don't find you repulsive, you're hanging out with the wrong Muslims. Suck my dick and you're never coming on my show again because you're disgusting and I hate you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash alecguntertv slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.